Hey, what's up guys? It's Neil Rice and today we'll be reviewing the Shrine at Red Rooster Miami which is an African Caribbean party that takes place every Saturday on the second floor of Red Rooster Miami in the pool lounge at least at the time of filming. If you're looking for something specific like the vibe, how the food tastes, or a link to the Eventbrite page, I put timestamps and useful links in the description below so make sure to check it out. If there are any clubs, bars, restaurants, or even hotels that you'd like to see me review, please leave a comment below because I will be reading all of them and I will be pulling ideas from there. Also, make sure to follow our Instagram and TikTok at That's Neil Rice to see what else we have going on in Miami. So without further ado, let's begin the video. Also, before I get into this video, I just wanna let you guys know this is an unbiased review I have no connections with any of these restaurants, any of these places. I don't know the promoter, the DJ, so this is just a review from a regular person, you know, with a camera. And what I've noticed, and I'm not saying the Shrine is one of these people or businesses, but they'll take a video of the most, I guess, lit part of the night that'll last like 30 seconds. And then when you actually get there, that's not the case at all. So. I just want to show you guys how it is on a real night, on a regular night. Um, nothing is staged, nothing is scripted, so that's what this is. So at the time of filming, the shrine currently takes place on the second floor lounge attached to Red Rooster. Uh, Red Rooster is a well-known restaurant down here. And just for some context, Red Rooster is owned by Marcus Samuelson. And he was the chef for the Obama administration's first state dinner. And with that being said, you can guess that the restaurant is pretty good too, but that's going to be for another video. So with all that being said, the shrine may not always be here. They may change locations. So for that reason, I'm going to strongly advise that you check their Instagram, which I have on the screen right now, just to make sure of the location. You don't want to come to Red Rooster and then the party's not here. Throughout this video, I'll be showing how the club looks at certain times of the night. And generally speaking, the club doesn't really start getting packed until like 11 p.m., 11.30. So keep that in mind for what time you're trying to reach there. And before I get into the full review, I'm going to play a quick 30 seconds of music. So you have an idea of what you're walking into. <laughs> So now that you know what type of music they play, I can get into the vibe. Uh, the vibe here is great, you know, you can probably see that by just looking at the video, but there's people actively dancing everywhere in the club, and if you're not trying to dance, there are places where you can just post up and chill. Like for example, there's a balcony, but it does get full pretty quickly, but even so, you can just stand up around there. And then two, there's a pool table, which I'm gonna throw on the screen right now, but as you can see, it gets pretty busy around there as well. The DJs here, they definitely know what they're doing. So you will hear a little bit of everything Caribbean as well as African. So you will hear Movado, Burna Boy, Ricky Blaze, Destra, Wizkid. You even hear Drake, etc., etc. If you're coming here to turn up, you won't be disappointed. That I can promise you. Let's talk about entry requirements, like to actually get in the club. So I checked their Instagram and the Eventbrite page and nothing is explicitly said about the age requirement, but they do check your ID. So just to be on the safe side, just let it be 21 and over, even if you are a girl, because you don't want to come out all the way to Overtown and just get turned away. Now let me just talk about the dress code really quick. If you're a guy, uh, don't wear any tank tops, don't wear anything sleeveless, and don't wear any shorts. If you abide by those rules, you should be good. And I'm gonna throw up a few pictures showing what other people have worn to the Shrine Miami as well. Now, if you're a girl, I'm gonna be honest, pretty much anything goes. I've seen it all. I've seen shorts, I've seen dresses, I've seen shirts, I've seen crop tops. So it's really up to you. 
and again if you're not sure I'm gonna throw up a few pictures on the screen right now for reference as far as pricing goes honestly it varies so for both males and females on a regular Saturday you can RSVP on their Eventbrite page for free entry before 11.30 p.m. Now, on that same regular Saturday, if you show up after 11.30 p.m., you have to pay like $20 or so at the door. Now, if it's a special day, like they have a special DJ spinning for the night, or it's a holiday, they'll probably charge like 20 bucks regardless of what time you're there, so keep that in mind. Make sure to check their Instagram and go to the Eventbrite page if you do plan on going, so you can see whether it's free or if they're charging you, if any of that matters to you at all. If you RSVP'd on Eventbrite and you paid, you can go to the front of the line with your ticket ready and let the doorman know that you RSVP'd online. The same thing applies to you if you RSVP'd a table. Now speaking on tables, let's talk about the VIP section. So if you go on the Eventbrite page, you can reserve a table for 50 bucks and the tables are first come, first serve. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think the Eventbrite RSVP really even matters because when I RSVP the table and I spoke to the people that were there, they were low key scrambling to try to find us a table even though we already RSVP'd one. So you might not even have to worry about reserving one beforehand. Just keep that in mind. But one thing that you must know is that when you RSVP a table, you must buy a bottle, no if, ands, or buts. I'm gonna throw up a screenshot right now showing all of the bottle prices so you know what to expect. The screenshots may go by a little fast so make sure to pause the video to get a better look. When you purchase a bottle you have the choice of having a few of the bottle girls come out with sparklers to your table and do a little dance, drop off your bottle and then leave and I'll show you a video of that right now or you can just forego all of that and they will just bring you your bottle and call it a day. When you get your bottle you'll tell them what three chasers you want and they'll give you two mid-sized bottles or cans of each chaser that you requested as well as a tub of ice and some cups throughout the whole video you'll see me walking throughout the entire club anywhere you see a table with a candle on it that's a table that you can rsvp for yourself or if you see a spot with anyone sitting down that applies too Remember again, the tables are first come, first serve. If you are getting a table, you might want to think about the location of it and what you're trading off and receiving because it's really a give and take. Like for example, for the tables that are closer to the dance floor, I mean, they're closer to the action and some of the tables are like for real smack dab in the middle of the dance floor. And then there's tables that are a lot further away. One thing I'll say is that the tables that are closer to the dance floor, that area is a lot hotter than the tables that are further away, so just keep that in mind when you're deciding which one you want to pick. It also should go without saying, but the tables that are further away from the dance floor, you have a lot more room to move around and just be with your group. The tables that are a lot closer to the dance floor, it's a lot more crowded, so it's hard to move without bumping into somebody. The choice is yours, but just keep in mind that, at least in my experience, the tables that were closer to the dance floor, those went first. So if you want one of those, try and arrive there earlier. At this point, you're probably wondering about drinks, and honestly, there isn't much to say. They have a standard bar, so you can order whatever it is that you're used to. Uh, they have like big bottles of water. That's gonna run you like six bucks each. A regular drink will run you like 15 bucks. I'm not sure if there was any auto gratuity fee, but just double check because you don't want to make the mistake of tipping twice if it's already included. For food, supposedly you can order food up there, but I didn't try because I ate at the actual restaurant downstairs and that'll be another video for another time. I'll put a screenshot on the screen right now of the food menu for the second floor. But to be honest, man, I didn't see anyone bringing in food at all. And with how busy that place gets, I just really don't see it happening. But I could be wrong. I would say go there after you already ate. Overall, the Shrine at Red Rooster Miami is definitely a good way to spend the night. 
especially if you're looking to dance to Caribbean music, African music, maybe even some old school R&B. When it comes to transportation, if you can, I highly recommend Ubering just to avoid all of the house and frustration that comes with parking down here. If you can't Uber, then they have a parking lot attached to the actual restaurant. And if you're gonna use the parking lot attached to the restaurant, make sure to bring cash because if you have cash, it's a flat rate of like 20 bucks or something like that. But if you don't have cash and you gotta use the app, they charge you like 20 bucks an hour. There's also a parking lot down the street, but you know, they tend to overcharge. And you can always find parking in the neighborhood, but I wouldn't recommend it. Just because if you can avoid walking around over town at night, you should do that because, you know, there's a lot of homeless people here, syringes and fields, and while the area is being gentrified, it isn't fully there yet, so if you can avoid walking around in any way, do that. If you can Uber or Lyft, do that. Now with all of that being said, that's it for the video. If there are any clubs, bars, restaurants, or even hotels that you would like to see me review, please leave a comment below because I will be reading all of them and I will be pulling ideas from there for future videos. Make sure to follow our Instagram and TikTok at That's Neil Rice. It'll be on the screen right now just so you can see whatever else we have going on in Miami. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, I'm Neil Rice, and I'm signing out. Peace.